Okay guys, how's it going? This is the uh, last video this week in the little review of NVIDIA graphics card series that I've been doing. And we've been kind of funny and silly along the way, but we're not going to do anything weird or crazy. We're just going to, you know, talk real awesome graphics cards. We're not going to talk about dinosaurs. It's just, this is a pretty cool card, actually. I really enjoyed using this card. It's the GTX uh, 770 from EVGA, and it's a super clocked edition, and it had 4 gigs of uh, GDDR memory, but nothing too crazy, so, you know, it, it got the job done for quite some time. And with 4 gigs of memory, I think that's pretty much the minimum you need these days for some pretty good gameplay and stuff like that. So, let's cue an intro, and we'll go ahead and we'll talk all about the GTX 770 Super Glocked Edition. <gasps> ah! Okay, so this is a weird kind of goldy card. They're still sort of using this cooler design and stuff like that, even though this is getting on three years old. Uh, and it was featured in one of the bad unboxing videos that iDubs TV did. I want, I might want to make another YouTube channel and call it, uh, you know, iDubs Tech Tips, and uh, I'll, I'll wear a couple fucking rings in my ear, and I'll be like. Alright, this is the 770. 770D has two BIOS. You can switch between the BIOSes uh, with a little switch on the back and then blah 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 blah. With my string. There it is. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool graphics card. I really liked it. It did the job. Uh, I actually put it originally in my Ryzen build as my main video card until I got my RX 480. But, you know, as things do, they get uh, a little bit aged like a fine wine. And uh, this was, you know, this would get 70 FPS in most games on Ultra with, you know, no CPU bottleneck, no problem. Uh, it doesn't have any architecture change over the 680 we talked about yesterday, but uh, it is a little bit faster. Uh, the base clock on this EVGA one was 11, 11, 11. Starts in 311 minutes. Legalize Ranch. Or 1111 with boosting up to 6, uh, 1163 but uh, I was able to get it to 1300 megahertz no problem it did require a lot of power it needs a 600 watt power supply or greater so if you're getting one of these things remember that and uh, I actually bought it from a guy that had it in SLI with another one and uh, he said he was getting something like uh, 980 performance mm -hmm. out of the two of those I don't know if I'd really believe him it's got a uh, faster memory than the last uh card too running at 7000 megahertz i wasn't able to do much more than like 100 megahertz over that so they'd obviously kind of maxed out the kepler architecture with this uh 770 but it's definitely faster than the 680 and it's definitely faster it's between like a 1050 ti and a 1060 uh would be these days you know somewhere around like uh in R9 290-ish, something like that. But uh, I, I really enjoyed it. It was a good card, never had a problem with it. It did need two six-pin power connectors again, uh, and it did overclock fairly well. We're gonna show some game benchmarks right now though, so you'll get to go ahead and see that. And then we'll come back and do a some thumbs up of the video. But in case you're wondering, I used my Ryzen 7 system with uh, the 1700 and uh, 16 gigs of GDDR um, Corsair memory. So there's no CPU battle like to speak of when we look at these benchmarks. And as far as my overall opinion of it compared to the other three cards that we, uh, we listed off, like I say, it is a fairly fast card and it's at the end of its life cycle right now. But, you know, you could probably get away with using it for uh, quite some time in a budget build and be fairly happy with the results you get. So, queue up those benchmarks and you can see what I'm talking about. Bleedoo!
So, uh, will using this with my um, uh, Ryzen system, uh, I got kind of the feeling that I was missing out a little bit. It, uh, you know, I said in the last video with the 680, you could get away with using it and not really feel like you're you're missing too too much. But uh, it's like just on the cusp of being able to play everything at 1080p on maximum super graphics, uh, to the point where you'll be kind of pissed off when you have to back one or two of the settings off to achieve that perfect 60 frames a second with this 770 card. Uh, and I found that my uh, video editing performance got so, so much better with an RX 480, uh, especially in the end render when I used, uh, you know, the, the actual card to render the video. Uh, it, it, the RX 480 is able to do it in like double the time. Um, so, yes, I don't know. Uh, is it worth buying a uh, 770? $120 is what you want to pay for it maximum. That's what I paid for it, and that's what I sold it for. Uh, Canadian. So, subtract, like, you know, 100 bucks American or, wait, yeah, around 100 bucks American. You should be fine. But that will end the uh, look back, the old NVIDIA Showcase Showdown. You win $10,000 for today uh i'll do this as i get more graphics cards into the studio here i'd love to round up for amd graphics cards that are older and kind of compare them uh to be honest super not into uh old uh amd stuff uh i just really got into amd again hardcore so i'd like to see what uh some of those r9 video cards could actually do or like a 7790 or something like that but i'm timmy joe this is dino no more silly games that was the gtx 770 you have any questions below comment rate subscribe hit the like button i've got amazon affiliate links below um you know i do enjoy a good joke once in a while and uh you know if you hit the subscribe button things are great at watch to me join instagram and twitter this is all you'll see from me this week we'll come back next week because it's a video every weekday in may motherfuckers.